Our proposal has been accepted as the basis of negotiation by the institutions, but the negotiations must go for some more hours, for two days, because we do not want a fragmentary and time-limited agreement. We want a comprehensive and viable solution that is accompanied by a strong growth package that will make the Greek economy viable so that the country can stand on its feet again. There have been some relatively significant concessions, particularly on things like sales tax, which you know, were supposed red lines that have been crossed. Now, obviously, negotiations and negotiations, so uh, it, it remains to be seen what the final detail is. But you know, I think there is a reasonable chance that we do see some sort of shift in the political landscape in Greece, because uh, to the, particularly to the, the very left and their, their minor coalition partner, don't particularly seem willing to agree to the, these proposals at this stage. All participants of the discussion, including myself, said we would like Greece to stay in the Eurozone. What Greece put forward today is certainly progress, but within our discussion, we also noticed that there is a lot of work that needs to be done, and we are running out of time, and therefore we have to concentrate on this work. I'm convinced that we will come to a final agreement in the course of this week for the simple reason that we have to find an agreement this week. We cannot play, as uh, they are saying in, on, on, on football fields, we cannot play prolongations. If uh, the Greece situation is at least resolved, and I think we have to be a bit sanguine about what we mean when we say resolved. Yeah. Resolved means that the situation is going to be um, put aside for the next several months, maybe several quarters, but we're not going to get a final resolution to the Greek financing crisis today or tomorrow, but we are going to get a relief period over the next several months so the Greek government can work out what it needs to work out.